By show of hands, how many of you here use cell phones on a daily routine? I believe that all of us use our cell phones almost every day. And this is just an example of electronic devices that we are using. Electronic devices like laptops, Wi-Fi modems, radios are a strong source of electromagnetic waves. These electromagnetic waves from different sources may interfere with each other and create more problems. What kind of problems? I will tell you. Imagine that you are the pilot of an airplane about to take off or land and trying to connect with the airport traffic controller for the permission. But suddenly, a signal from an MP3 player of one of your passengers interferes with your signal. You know what will happen? Instead of traffic controller, probably you will hear the tune of Justin Bieber or Nickelback. This is, of course, the recipe for disaster. But the good news is that these electromagnetic waves can be reduced by shielding using a cover around our electronic devices. And this is where my project comes in. My project aims to find the right material for shielding. These materials can be metal sheets, but they are heavy, expensive, so we need another shielding material. An alternative is polymer nanocomposites. Polymer nanocomposites are not heavy, not expensive, and they can be easily built inside our electronic devices. They also have ability to absorb these electromagnetic waves. So what are these polymer nanocomposites? A polymer nanocomposite consists of polymer, the same material as that chair you're sitting on with some small particles, conductive nanoparticles, which are located properly inside. So when the electromagnetic waves approach this shield, only a small portion is able to pass through the shield and be transmitted to the environment. This is, of course, better and less harmful. With my project, I can engineer these polymer nanocomposites to maximize their shielding ability. In the lab, I will run experiments with different kinds of polymers and nanoparticles to find the right combination of them. I can also change their properties so they can interact better with each other and create better shielding. In brief, we know that we are not going to stop using our electronic devices. So we need to improve their shielding material to protect ourselves and our next generation from the danger of electromagnetic waves. Thank you.